We got a cobia, we got a wahoo, we got a dolphin, and we got a huge yellowfin tuna in this box right here. Let's go clean them. Come on. A little mahi. stiff. Hey, he's a little stiff. That mahi right there. Nice one. In the box. Cobia. Nice cobia. Nice wahoo. There he is. Got him. Oh, we got him. This makes all the difference when you just get them, a lot of that stuff off. Get them clean. Down the head, find that backbone. backbone. Look at that, look at that dorsal fin, dude. That is so sick. Slide it back. One, one, one good slot, yeah. Right off the side of that lateral line. There you go. Then come back and ride it again before you get all the way down to the backbone. There you go. Pretty nice chunk of meat right there. Ooh. That's beautiful, look at that. That's a loin right there. That's a loin. All right, now you want me to get the bottom one? You want the bottom piece? And I'll do the other back strap? Yeah. Let's do that. All right, guys, Blake, we're switching it up now. Blake wants to do the bottom half. Blood line out? Yeah, trying to cut some of those. That's valuable catfish food right there. That's our catfish bait, for yeah. sure. It's gonna roll off, eh? Look at that. Yeah. Not a bad chunk. It's a great chunk. All right, we got the loin off, cleaned up. All this dark red right here, you wanna trim all that off, get them staked up and bagged up. The key is keeping these fish cold. You let them get warm, like right now, all they're doing is heating up. So you wanna get them bagged up, don't put any water on them, get them in Ziplocs, get them cold. Then vacuum sealed, then you can do whatever you want with them. Prime meat right there. Good as it gets. That is a huge, look at that. Let me see that. Good thing. Dude. You eat that? Can you just take a bite of this right now? Oh, yeah. Just take a. Do you guys want to take a bite of this right now? Protein, man. It's like a cheeseburger, bro. I'm telling you. It's a that's sandwich, a just a meat sandwich. Meat sandwich. That's the carcass right there. I'll be honest, guys. I really, really would love to drop this off for shark bait. This would be, that's how you catch a huge shark right here. Big tiger, mako. Maybe even a big gray white, I don't know. That is, it's an impressive bait. Wahoo time. Here we go. He's not as hard as I would like him to be though. Wahoo have a lot of parasites on him. Doesn't make the meat bad. Look at that guy right there. Little copod. There's always one on each pectoral fin. See this one right here too, usually. See him right here? Another one right here. Underneath the pectoral fin, there's two of these copods right here. Something out of a sci-fi movie. Find that backbone on the Wahoo. Fall that down. Mahi time? Right. Mahi time. That's That's not nice. pristine. Where do you want to put it? We need to bag it up. Clean it up, we'll bag it up. I've never seen that technique before. So you just wrap it in the knife and you peel it off? Yep. Right. Pull it off. That's the Louisiana style? Louisiana style. I like that. Last fish, Tobia. One of the best eating fish in the world right here at Cobia. All right, 
Look at that, dude. Gosh, that is fantastic meat. It's so cold. There it goes, guys. Simple as that. You guys see it up there? Oh, yeah. Is it heavy? That's a good meat haul right there. That's a lot of meat. All right, come down a little. There we go. How easy Not is that? that? Okay, so this is Oahu. This is the Cobia. And that's a dolphin. All right, so what do you want? I'm gonna cook the cobia. You're gonna cook. Uh, I'll cook the cobia and the dolphin. All right. You guys cook the wahoo and the tuna. Sound good? Sounds right. good. Yeah, so why are you rolling it up in a paper towel? Just to uh, get everything off. You don't rinse tuna or nothing like that. You don't rinse it? Treat it just like a steak, like you buy from the store. Really? Yep. So that's how you clean it. Make sure all your red bloodlines off. Anything like that. But it's not like other fish. You're never gonna put water directly on it. Cobia. We're gonna, we're gonna cook it in the, uh, the pan here. Just making this up as I go kind of deal. Can't How mess do you up, you can't mess up cobia. Uh, I got some sides. butter out already, but if you need some more, we got some right here. Give me a whole stick of butter. Whole stick, there you go. Medium. All right, you ready? I am. All right. Here we go. Let's get this going. Woo. Is that is that the temperature you want for those like, tuna? Yeah, it's like playing hockey. You play hockey? No. Hockey. Only fish. Is that the butter puck? <laughs> Josh, I can already tell you right now, you lost this battle, guaranteed. Really? Oh yeah. No way. Veggies, here we go. I have no idea how long it's gonna cook for because it's at 400 degrees, so let's just give it a good Dude, see, that's 10 minutes. Me. You're already unorganized. I've got all this at precise temperatures Do right you? where I need it. And you're, wow. you, don't, <laughs> you don't know what's going on. We need a timer, where's the timer on this guy? All right, as with most fish, we wanna make sure we don't have a lot of that red line when we're gonna do the sashimi. So what I'm gonna do is cut that out of the middle here. For the sashimi, we're gonna cut it pretty thin. A little bit of red there I wanna get out. I want that fishy taste in our sashimi. Yep. So now we're gonna make some soy sauce with some wasabi. Soy, a little bit of wasabi. We're gonna mix that up a little bit. There we go. Make a great appetizer. Hold on. I don't have my secret spot. Like, like normally, I cook my mahi with Italian dressing. I don't have it. So, I'm improvising right now. I'm just making something up. Ooh. Our cobia sliced up here. Now we're gonna slice some limes. So we are gonna squeeze the lime juice in here. The uh, oh, wow. The acid in the lime juice is what's gonna cook the the fish for us here, so we need to let this we need to let this marinate for about 30 minutes. Uh, you can actually eat it right after you start. Uh, most fish can be eaten raw without any problem, but we're going to let it marinate for about 30 minutes. Yeah, a little bit of jalapeno for some flavor. All right, all right. It's kind of a, a little bit of roulette because you never know how spicy that jalapeno is going to be. That's gonna go right in there with the fish. And we're also gonna throw some cilantro in here. Stir that up a little bit. Might have to pull it out. And we need to let that marinate for just a little bit. Get the lime juice uh, flavor in there. Yeah, try, try that, try that. that will be good to go. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. There you go, ready? Our big is ego right now. Oh yeah. You can be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Be stern. Mm. 
the lemon flavor really comes out. It yes. does, right? That's good stuff. That is most good. Good stuff. All right, Blake. Stiff competition no, here, buddy. I'm still not worried. What'd you catch oh, oh, you? Look at those tuna steaks. 9.5, right buddy. Those are waiting. Those are waiting? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to pan yeah. fry some Wahoo as well. So I'm going to cut this. Yeah, yeah. We've seasoned it a little bit. Salt and pepper. Cutting it about an inch thick here. We're going to brown the edges. Very nice. With some butter. Garlic. Wow. Dude, your presentation is good. Let's see, let's see what we got. We got some Wahoo here. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to cook it all the way through. We're going to cook it almost all the way through. All right, perfect. Tortillas are done. That looks nice. You want to pull it off before you think it's actually completely done because it's going to keep cooking as you put it on the plate and get ready to serve it. That is very true. If you don't, it's going to be kind of dry when you, by the time you get to eat it. What? There we go. No, I said you guys are going to be the judges. I'm just chewing. Ooh. Well, we're so here we go. Here's the, the messy right, mahi. Yeah. MM, and here's the pristine tuna. Like no, I, uh, I'm playing guitar. That, 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 too much. Is it good? Oh man, that's a solid nine and a half out of ten. Really? Nine and a half out of ten? Yeah. Yeah. Very. That's good. That's gonna be hard to beat, right? Well, I hate going on. Let's test this out. All right. So. Oh yeah, I like that. Perfect. Is that cooked right? Burn. All right, look, 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 ready? I'm gonna try this because I've never tried tuna like this before. Here. I'm a First little time. scared. It's raw. Okay. That's it good? Oh yeah. Oh, Chase, um, what do you got? Are y'all ready to try the winner? <laughs> All right, well, so what's this? This is Wahoo. Um, Pan seared with a little butter wahoo. and garlic. Oh, and it's... Hey, uh, it's good. It's mm. very good. All right. Oh, this is getting too good. Like Y'all really got serious about this stuff, man. This is awesome. Here we go, ready? I'm going to try, try your Wahoo, ready? Here we go. Here Dude, it's over with. Man, that looks pretty good right there. That texture. Uh-oh. That's good stuff. Hold on. Uh, we didn't hear mine. Wahoo or tuna are going to take it. Really? So you're saying it's not, not the mahi? No, it's not the mahi. <laughs> the mahi is the best mahi I've ever eaten. That, okay, that's, that's still a really good compliment. I mean, that's yeah. a nine and a half out of ten. Yeah. It's a great the mahi. Tuna's the ten. Is it really? Yeah. The tuna's the ten. What about the this wahoo? This is about 18, right? It's really close. Let me get another bite. Oh, this could no. be it's done, 100%. I think. Oh, yeah, look at that. Lemon fish. Yes, oh, that's done. Falling apart. Right, so it's got a long be a fuse. Really? Yeah. Longer than mine. We got cobia, lemon fish, crab eater. Don't they call them crab eaters in some parts of the world? Now, there's very little spices on that. That's just salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon. Some, some Sometimes onion. simple is better. Yeah. It's a kiss program. Keep it simple, stupid. It works. How's that taste? That is phenomenal. Is it? It really is. What would you get that at 10? That's tied with the mahi. Really? Nine and a half? I mean, no, no. no. Tied with the Wahoo. Tied with the Wahoo? Tied with the Wahoo. So 9-7. Nine, 9-7. Seven. Nine, seven you get a taste of that. I'm not usually a big Cobia fan, so. That's really good Cobia. I like the texture. You like that? Nice and firm. Yeah. I love Cobia. It's just a, it's just a, it's a soft, yeah, very, but, very meaty, but mm, good texture. It's like a catfish of the ocean, bro. Yeah. The tuna one. Yeah. Hands down. It was cooked perfect. It was a perfect temperature. When it was served, and it was, it was excellent. It was the best pie I've had. In a well done. <laughs> pride coming out now. Well done. You have the honor of grabbing this exclusive, one of a kind. That's a 25 karat. Come on, diamond. There we go. That's our nice. winner, folks. There it is. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop. Everyone, stop. Look, you gotta try. The, you, gotta, you gotta try this Wahoo. Oh, this is Wahoo. That's Wahoo. Dip it in there. Yep. yep. Is that could that could that beat the tuna? No. No chance. It could be tuna. That doesn't count. <laughs> it's not cooked. That that does count actually. Is that good? Oh yeah, that's my favorite. Oh, it's got the wasabi in the in the soy. Mm -hmm. Oh man. You like that call? Yes, that's. Uh, is I'm that better get, than the tuna? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. You're onto something here. 
Cajun. What'd you get that out of ten? Ten. Oh, solid ten. We got it. We got a we got a tie here. That almost that ooh, that's uh -oh. really good. Good <laughs> sashimi. Keeping it simple. Uh, Kiss program generally works. So that does that beat the tuna? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, no. no! Not good. No. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> oh no, Blake! That was the best thing I ate tonight. Really? That was the best tasting thing I ate tonight. Wow. Hey! Very well. Congratulations on That's winning. Right. That's right. That's right. Awesome Wahoo you caught. Yeah, we caught on the jig. You have taken the crown from Blake. Where'd he go? Look at look at him hiding <laughs> over there. He's hiding. <laughs> He thought his tuna was bulletproof. I don't Until know. Until that showed up, it was. Really? Until that showed up, he had the solid win. He had to bring in the closer. Uh, that was a serious yep. closer, bro. That was it, hey? Eh? Jared, closer. how's it taste? Let's see, let's see, guys. Here's Jared's right, first one. Here we go. Jared. When you caught that Wahoo yesterday, I got Easy excited. Money. Easy money? Easy That's money. That's easy money. Mm. Yeah. Oh. It really is not. You know what? I don't even eat sushi, and it's so good. Yeah, and yeah. I don't like but spicy, it really but it's so good. good. Yeah, I love it. That was obviously is a different is kind of spicy. Well, here you go. Oh. As winner, there you we can go. wear the golden, I mean, what's this, a ruby, big yep. ruby. Giant ruby. Yeah, 30 carats, man. Yeah, he's doing a good ring too. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, look at that, that Louisiana heat that does yeah. number on that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's still a worthy <laughs> diamond. There we go. There Look, we at that. Winner, Look at that. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. Casey. Hey, man. Had a pleasure. It's your boat. Yes, sir. And you are the winner. Great time. You're the, you're the champion. Enjoyed it. You know? Hey, you know Hard you know, the to best eat. part is now? Sashimi. Is we get to eat. So Let's Davis, go. who's offered the camera now, he's extremely hungry. Mm -hmm. For real, yeah, that Davis got to try everything. We got to finish the Cobia. That's still going to cook. He's tried almost everything. Oh, really? Now sneak it in. Oh, <laughs> But. We're gonna sit down, eat this food, and then kind of enjoy the night, right? Sounds good to me. Let's go. Today we got to cook some really awesome fish. We got to cook yellowfin tuna, wahoo, cobia, and dolphin. And they all tasted really good. Oh yeah. Blake, you were very confident in your tuna. Now, the uncooked fish took it though. It the hard wahoo. To beat, hard to beat wahoo sashimi. It, it really is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I'm not a huge sashimi fan, but it did taste very good. Yeah. And I'm not even a huge spicy fan, but that did taste, whatever that sauce is, yeah, that, so that tasted good too. Wasabi's a different kind of spice. It was, yeah. a, it was intense for the first second, but it kind of tapered off there. Yep. So it wasn't yep. too bad. Yep. But the tuna, see, that's my first time eating fresh tuna like that. I usually always avoided eating tuna, but I had to eat it today, and I actually enjoyed it. So, so you did like great it. You job. Enjoyed yes, great job, the Wahoo, great job. Guys, if you want to catch big tuna, Wahoo, all this stuff, if you're here in Louisiana, Captain Blake, check him out. Also, big thanks to my buddy Casey here and Tie Line Boats for helping us catch the fish. We didn't catch the broccoli, we didn't catch the steak, but we did catch a lot of nice fish and we caught it on 36.5 tires. So check them out. Link is in the description, guys. Thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.